Hi everyone, Power Query Challenge again. Here is the task. We want to combine all the files in this folder. Well, it is not challenging at all. But the real challenge comes from the fact that we may have inconsistent column names across the files. We need to convert all the inconsistent column names into a consistent column names with the help of a conversion table so that we can append them easily. Let's see how we can do it. We may start from a blank workbook, go to the data tab, get data from file, from a folder. We may navigate to the folder that we want, or we can copy and paste the path and put it here, and then open. We have a preview of the content in that folder, so now I'm going to edit or transform it. Here we have the Power Query Editor opened, so we have the query called Data Files. Let me rename it. It will be my consolidation. Just to play safe, I want to instruct Power Query to read only the Excel files in the folder. So I'm going to select test filters here, equals, and select.xlsx so that all other file types will be ignored. Now I'm ready to expand this content. Before I do it, I would like to remove other columns. Now I'm going to cast these combined files. Because I'm sure that all my data files will be converted into Excel table. Uh, they are called data, so that I can select the data here. Okay. Wow, this is not the format or the data that I am expecting. Because the second file, no data is being appended. For the third file, only the last column has been appended. Why is that? Let's go back to the previous steps to have a look. Okay, this is the step to invoke the custom function based on the sample files. This is our first sample file A. We have the column depart, solve, scores, and rank. On the certain table, oh, all the column names are different. That's why nothing has been appended. On the third file, we have one common column name, which is rank. That's why we can append the data under the common columns rank. This is not what we want. We want all the data should be appended with the help of a conversion table. So now I'm going to import my conversion table. Here, Excel are new sources, file, Excel, because I have prepared my conversion table in an Excel table. Import. My conversion table is named as conversion table in an Excel table. Here we go, we have the conversion table and the name is conversion table. Great. So I want to convert all the inconsistent name from and then to the consistent name under the column 2. Let's go back to the sample file queries here. Let's see what if we manually do it to rename all the columns. Let's see, I want to convert it into A, this will be BB, and then this will be column CC, and here DD. 
The auto generator code here is a list of list. A list will be enclosed by this query basket so that here we have a list of list telling the function table rename columns how do we want to convert the name of the column so the real challenge here today is how to prepare a list of list and fit it into table rename columns function let me try to do it first i remove the steps here i want to get the list of the column names so i'm going to create a new step here the function i need is table dot column names okay open parenthesis and then data underscore table refer to the previous steps so let me type the formula like this so that i can have the column names as a list next step is convert them into a table after it is converted back to a table i can do the merge the reason i'm doing the merge is i want to get the corresponding new column names from the conversion table here when i expand the result i get only the column for two now i've got a pair of data a pair of value but they are not in a list i want to convert them into a list so what i'm going to do is somehow quite indirectly i'm going to select both columns right click and merge columns i'm going to merge it with a separator comma okay now i'm going to add a custom column so i go to add column custom column here here the function that i'm going to use is text dot split okay i want to split this column with the separator comma okay here we go we've got the list of the corresponding value this is actually a list so to turn this column of list into a list of list right click on this column and then i do then here we go i have a list of list that i can fit it into the second parameter of the table renames column before i do it let me rename the steps into new column names now i'm ready to add another step to rename the columns okay let me go back to this steps first this step is called navigation okay let me add one step here insert this is my starting table this step called custom tool let me rename it okay this is my table okay so now i'm ready to go back here and add the new steps the new step is i want to rename the table dot rename column i'm going to apply this function to my table okay table and i want to rename all the columns as a list and this named called new column names is exactly the list of list that i need so i'm going to close uh, to input close preferences here and enter wow it works it simply works wonderful now i'm going back to my consolidate table 
this step doesn't work because the change type step was hard coded. Let me remove it. Now, if we go back to examine all the steps, the source, this is the data folder, and then I filter only to Excel files, remove all other columns, it remove all hidden files, then it invoke the custom function that is prepared based on the transformation steps we just applied here. Take a look at the table. Oh, this is already renamed. Check the second one. Already renamed the final one. Also renamed perfect so that they can append correctly in this consolidation queries. Now we can select all the columns and detect the data type to define the data type. Final step, home, code and node. I want to node it to a spreadsheet. Okay, to a table, new workbook, fine. Okay. We have the conversion table also loaded. We don't want it to be loaded on the spreadsheet, so we can modify it. Right it, no to, CNET only create connection here. Okay. Okay. This worksheet is no longer required. We can simply delete it. Take a look at the result of the consolidation. We have the data of file A, file B, and file C. Perfect. And we have a consistent column name here. Perfect. All right. What if we have a new data file? Sample file D that has inconsistent column names again. We want to test if our query work. So I'm going to copy this, just copy it to our data folder, data files folder here, paste it here. Now I'm going to back to my result query, right click, refresh. It works. It just works. Wonderful, isn't it? This is a blog post for me to talk about the inspiration and the thinking process for this video. But I would like to draw your attention and I would like to thank the comment from MM8173 here. In the comment, I learned something new. In order to get a list of lists, I can use the function list sift. And also, there is an optional parameter of missing field ignored for the table we name columns. With these two new knowledge, I can even streamline the solution in a very few steps and in a more efficient way. Let's watch it. Let's go back to the Power Query Editor before I do my modification. Let me remind you that we have the conversion table imported already. In the conversion table, we have a column called from, and we also have a column called to. Now let's go straight to the sample file here. This is where we did all the transformation for the conversion. Previously, I have to apply many, many steps in order to get the new column names. With the new functions learned, which is list.sift, I can do all the transformation in one single step here. All the intermediate steps are no longer required. So I'm going to right click here, delete until end, delete. Now I'm going to add one step here. The step I'm going to add is to do the table rename columns directly on this table called data table. And now I'm going to input the list of the list with the help of the function list zip. Open parentheses. I also need to query brackets. 
because I'm going to import a list here. And the list will be coming from the conversion table, the from column, and then the conversion table to columns. Basically, just zip the two columns together and return a list of values. That is perfect. And because in our conversion table, we have the full list of the conversion, there will be more fields, more column names than required. So we also need the second parameter. What if we encounter a missing field that is not available in this table? We want to ignore it. So we input the second parameter, missing field dot ignore. Close parenthesis. Click OK. Wonderful. We have the conversion done in one single step. Let's go back to the consolidation. It works. We have all the four files appended. Wonderful. OK, now let's check it. What if we have a new data file, sample E? In this new sample file E, we have a new column named call. Why, why, why? I don't know why, but it happens. So let me put this file into our data file and see what will happen. Now we have the sample file E here with the column Y, Y, Y. Let's see if we can append it. Refresh. Of course, we can append everything except the column Y, 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 because Y, Y, Y is not available on the conversion table so that Power Query didn't know how to convert the column names. And that's why no data under Y, Y, Y column is being appended. The solution is super simple. We just need to go back to the conversion table at the new data field YYY and tell Power Query that when we encounter YYY, convert it into department. Save this file, going back to this and refresh. As simple as that, it's so powerful, power query. Mm -hmm.